let's talk about the man who has hogged the headlines on transfer deadline day, and that is <laughs> Peter Odem Wingy, who turned up at Loftus Road. Uh, I mean, first of all, Charlie, why did West Brom not sell him? I don't know. I mean, I... He, wants to, he wants to go. What use is he going to be to them now? Well, I, well, just, well absolutely no. Not worth it. Not worth an ounce. You just forget it. You know, they've sent him home from training. It's caused chaos. They'll have to bring out... I think the maximum you can get is two weeks. So he has to come in whether he, he trains with the juniors, whatever. What's the point? You know, you have to use common sense. Unfortunately, the player power thing has swung ever since the Bosman situation. They can't take advantage of the situation. It came across to me, actually, as stupid mm. as he looked, uh, <laughs> sitting outside QPR's ground. But... The information, Jeff, and we have to be careful because we're not quite sure who is telling 100% here. He said that the information, he was saying his goodbyes, was that the suggestion from West Brom was, it's just about to go through, you're not far away, can I pack up and get ready so that I'm there prepared and the deal done? He's excited about it. So we can understand that side. But how he's not got, I don't know if he's got an advisor. If he hasn't, get straight on the phone, mate, and get one now. Because if you've got one, sack him immediately. Take him to a, a hotel nearby, have a coffee, sit out, wait your text, your fax, your email, whatever source of communication skill you use, and then say, the deal's done. Or, I'm not embarrassed, I, I'll have to head back to West Brom. But I don't know for whatever reason, West Brom, whether they looked at him, getting interviewed in Sky Sports News and said, we're not doing this deal now. That's the way it looks to me. I'd like to think fair play to West Brom. And they've not gone to player power and be sort of pushed into making the oh, deal. If they didn't think it was right for them, I don't care how far mm -hmm. along the line or whatever, it's still not gone through. They haven't sanctioned this. And to have him down there, and I may go along do, with do you Charlie. Feel somebody must have encouraged him Absolutely. to leave the Hawthorns and head for Loftus Road. It's, it's, not, it's not just him. There's, there's other people here. Um, yes, at West Brom. Yes, his advisors. Yes, at QPR, giving him the idea that this was going to happen. And with Charlie, why did he have to turn up at the ground? Why couldn't he just be around the corner somewhere? It was just outrageous. But at least West Brom, other clubs, if we remember going back to when Berbatov was going to join Manchester United, Spurs hadn't given the green light, and yet we could, we could see him <laughs> in the offices at Old Trafford, which was incredible. And then they relented and the deal was, was done. Well, I think West Brom have gone, no, we've not sanctioned this. And this is not right. Player power is not going to get their own way. And yes, he might have been given a bit of encouragement, but it doesn't go through if the selling club doesn't agree. Mm. Um, will he play for them again, in your view, Matt? Um, <laughs> nothing would surprise me. Uh, we didn't think Tevez would ever play for Man City again after what he did, but he, he came back and he did. Um, I think it might take a little bit of time. I think he, I think he might have to do a, a bit of time in the reserves. Um, I give it a little bit of time for the West Brom fans to maybe calm down a little bit. Um, but yeah. I think in time, in time, <laughs> I think so. he'll probably he probably will. I don't. I just don't see West Brom haven't got the money to leave people roasting in the reserves. I don't. You know, they're not that kind of squad. They haven't got that many players. Why don't they come to an agreement and think right? If we call him back, he ain't going to play for us again. We're just going to sit him in the reserves. He's still going to get paid. Why didn't he go on loan to the end of the season? Why didn't they say to Rangers, well, this ain't going to be done in time. We're not happy with the deal. Do you want to have him on loan to the end of the season? I... Didn't something mm. like this happen at his previous club in Russia? Mm. Was it in Russia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the fans were all so pleased. To... Did they yeah, not? They yeah, they, they all had big banners. You're welcome to in West Brom. What happened and how did that all materialise mm. to turn the fans so much against them? And these fans are going to be exactly the same now. It's not just integrating with his, uh, his teammates, but this is winning the trust again of the fans and can that ever be done? It will also put clubs off maybe going in for him again because, you know, if he's willing to do that to his club, you know, at some point when he goes to a new yeah. club, he'll probably do that to that club yeah, as well. But in fairness, he said, look, you know, though Queen, Queen's Park Rangers were going to treble his wages, but he says it was <laughs> never about the money, but professional desire. Want to play? Yeah, I could see that. To play the one, side, really one, one team's Detroit. bottom yeah. and the other team will win. Yeah. Uh, eight. That's what Seven he said. I'm <laughs> just. I could have come in and did the transfer Nine. deadline with Jim White. He would have known what was happening to his deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>